Writing is a great deal like sculpting in stone. You're constantly cutting away little pieces that, you know, this becomes more difficult. It's the, the less is more approach. Sounds really good. It sounds like you're doing less to get more. But what's really happening is you're doing more than you're having to chop it down to less to get more, right? And, it, oh, you sit there, I, can I, I've got to throw that away too. Luckily, I've got, you know, like my wife is my mi one of my miners' canaries, you know? And when she falls off the perch, I know it's pretty much a waste of time and I just throw it away. You, cannot, you can't be a winner every shot. And you, actually, being a winner is not even what you're looking for in this particular case. It's just, you know, putting the art out there, you know, in a finished fashion that, you know, you, that you like. Whether anybody else likes it or not becomes very problematical. And if you live your life based upon their responses, that becomes even more problematical. You know, it means that you're immediately tied up with your own success. Well, for most artists, success doesn't come in their lifetimes. I remember asking my father, you know, when do you know when you're a successful writer? He says, forget it. You won't know it. You've been dead for 20 years. It's when people go back to, oh, yes, those are the years. And John Steinbeck said, well, really? He said, it doesn't seem very rewarding to me. And, of course, I was reminded by my father that it wasn't very rewarding and that I should choose something else for a career. But like most children, I never listened to my father.